In the first 30 minutes of this match, McKinley headed Frail's cross back across goal, but Cahoon just failed to connect. Then Cahoon did superbly well, getting by Duffy, Pittman and Shaw. But McKinley couldn't finish off the move. It was all hearts and all Cahoon with McKinley heavily involved too. The fullback crossed, it fell to Cahoon and he rattled the ball off the post. Mackay then set up Miller but Pagot stopped the shot. Then Dundee came right into it, McQuillan crossed, it bounced in the box but Farnham headed over. Into the second half and Dundee shot to Tynecastle's side. Pittman took a short corner to Britain, he crossed, Smith couldn't hold it and Shaw was on the spot to score. Then they hit Hearts again. Britain raced off down the right. He held off Weir, evaded Levine and squared for Shaw to score the second. Hearts were shell-shocked to say the least. They tried to get back into the game, Robertson set up Mackay but the shot had neither power nor direction. But Dundee were confident of victory now, Shaw still caused problems as he held off Weir and he tried to lob Smith, but it didn't come off. It all finished on a rather unfortunate note, Duffy and Johnson had words after the Hearts striker had tumbled inside the box. Both were pulled over, but Duffy's still waiting for the make-up handshake. The Dundee boss went home happy though, after a bad day for Hearts.